Someone once told me that whatever you love doing when you were 10 years old is what you should be doing for the rest of your life. I love humanity, every inch of it. It's laughter, curiosity, insatiable hunger, the joy inherent in the most debilitating of sorrow. As a child, I set out to carbon copy this beauty and I got lots of practice. I'd spend hours in my dad's yellow taxi cab in San Francisco. From the front seat, I heard a lifetime's worth of dreams, fears, joys, but that was half a world ago. Now, instead of the Golden Gate, I see an emerging India from my window. I see with the eye of a seasoned journalist, but at heart, I'm just a cab driver's daughter with a camera. My first day in India, uh, 2007, I was walking through the slums and I, I sat with a family, a uh, wonderful, beautiful family. We were on a piece of fabric on a concrete floor and there was a baby there, just hugest eyes, saturated in black charcoal. So the baby's sitting there and I'm staring at it and I'm holding it and I'm just feeling wonderful and of course it pees all over my pants and, and we just start laughing. And then I get a wake-up call. So the mother turns to me and, and she starts to cry. And she yells in English, take, take. And I realize that she's trying to get me to, to take her child, that she sees me as this sort of white Westerner who has come in with this privilege and this love for her baby and that I could present a better life for it. It was at that moment that I sort of realized all of my notions about poverty, you know, Oh, they don't have enough food to eat, or, you know, oh, they live in a shack, oh, that's poor, that's really poor. Those sort of notions about what poverty is were completely flipped on their head. These are the stories I long to tell, the ones that help all of us to understand just how complex humanity can be.